Hello, productive people. Thanks for tuning in for today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create vertical up and down columns in Notion. This isn't something they've added yet, but I know a little trick that can help us get around the fact that they haven't added vertical lines as a block type yet. So in order to do this, all you're going to have to do is follow along. It's going to be a quick, easy video. I'm just going to dive into my computer now and show you how to achieve this. So right now we have four columns in a sense. If I highlight this, you'll see that, let me actually redo that again, highlight it. We got one, two, three, four columns. So in order to create columns, you can either watch my columns and sections video. If you're having trouble with this, I'll leave that up in the corner of this video. You can see that card there. But if you, uh, if you want to just stick around, I'll kind of show you how to create columns right now. And some of you might already know this, but uh, what you're going to do is just go down to a new section. So I'm going to drag that out and I'm going to type C1, C2, C3, and C4. This just stands for column one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to drag them side by side. So you'll get that little blue line when you uh, drag it over and that's the perfect time to drop it in. And then you're going to do the same with column three and the same with column four. Now, next, you're just going to copy a bit of text or you can write something. And I'm just going to paste that into column one. And I'm also going to copy a bit of text. And I'm going to paste it into column three. Now, column two and column four will be our divider columns. And let's also just for the sake of example, let's just type slash image and I'm gonna put in a picture from Unsplash on here. All right, now that we've got some text and a nice image in here, we can add our dividers. So in order to add your dividers, all you're going to do is copy the code that I have down in the description and paste this into your Notion workspace. I'm just gonna hit copy right here. And this is a, a code block. So what I recommend is you just create a code block for yourself in your Notion account, and then you can just paste this in there, and then you'll have access to it whenever you need it. And that's what I like to do. But yeah, you're just gonna copy this and paste it in the area that you wanna create the divider in. And that will create this gray divider that is three pixels in width. If I click on it, I can edit this. So similar to the video that I put out recently on uh, how to change divider colors in Notion, uh, we're just going to edit some parameters here. If you guys want to see the how to change divider colors video, uh, check out the card up in the corner. But let's actually just edit this one right now. And this might give you enough context into how to do it. So uh, we have color here set to gray. And I'm just going to change this parameter if I want to change the thickness of it. So I could go like one if I wanted it to be really thin. Or we could go with like 10 if we wanted a really thick divider but I'm just gonna go with five, happy medium, and we can adjust the pixels right here to decide how tall we want this to be. So if I wanted it to only be 200 pixels, I could do that. Let's go with 225 for this, not 2,225, just 225, thank you very much. And that looks pretty good. Now I can copy this again, paste it, and we can edit this parameter here. So five pixels to 20, oh, 225 and done. Now, if you want to change the look of this even more, you can just drag these around until you like how it looks. And eventually you should have something that you are pretty happy with. But that is pretty much it. That's the tutorial for today. So if you guys want to get that code, just copy it out of the description. Like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more Notion content and comment below this video if you have any feedback at all, good or bad, or if you just have a question. I'll try to answer those as soon as possible. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.